The first thing I'm going to do is to go to Site Global Configuration. Within Site Global Configuration, I'm going to turn on Search Engine Friendly URL, use Apache Mode Rewrite, and uh, add suffix to the URL. By doing this, I'm uh, telling Joomla that I want to change the URL of the website to a more user-friendly format. However, there is a warning here for Apache that tells me to rename the file htss.txt to .htss. Once I save this global configuration, I have to go back to my control panel. In my control panel, I'm going to use my legacy file manager. And I have to check this box that says show hidden files or dot .files. This one will let me access to files that operate directly on the server. You see that here I got a file called .htss. I'm going to click on it first. And I'm going to click on uh, Edit File with Code Editor. By doing so, I'm going to choose Edit. And it's going to show me the content of the default .htss on my server, which is empty. So I'm going to close this file. And I'm going to scroll down where I have htsx.txt. This is the file that I have to rename. So I'm going to click on htss.txt and I'm going to choose rename file. In this rename field, I'm going to type dot htsss. Then I can press rename. On the top right, it will give me a status of my edit. It will say that the file has been renamed dot htsss in the public HTML folder. Now, if I click on uh, .htss and I try to edit it again with the code editor, we'll open it in a new file and you see that now the .htss is fully implemented. I don't need to change anything because the default uh, .htss.txt for Joomla is quite good. I can go back to my home page, refresh the page. Now, whatever I decide to click, it will uh, bring me to a user-friendly URL, which will take the title as part of the URL. Since I've also decided to add the suffix at the end of the URL, in this case it will list it as HTML. If I go back to my global configuration and I decide to turn off add suffix to it and save it one more time, when I go back to the home page and click again on the same article, this time it will be without .html at the end. I prefer to use .html at the end of the URL, so I'm going to turn it on one more time, save it, and then back to my home page, click on the article, and there you go, there is a .html at the end of the URL.